What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. Hey, there we go. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, salute our records in the building. Yes. Well, this should be fun. You guys have been up to a lot since last time we talked, Caleb. Uh, this yeah. Is, I know that uh, the, the movie is, is out. Overnight is out, I believe, right? It's about to be out on Vimeo. It has premiered here in town. It did premiere. And uh, a yeah. great night. Couldn't have asked for a better evening. Um, we uh, we damn near filled the house, man. The arts community here showed up to yeah. celebrate it. And um, we raised some money. And it was a good time, good vibes. And then we also did a little thing for the fans that bought the soundtrack. They got access to the movie for that weekend. So a few of the online fans have watched it, too. But uh, it's coming to Vimeo for everybody on April 1st. On so. Vimeo. Okay, cool. Tell, really quick, a lot of people may not have any idea what we're talking about when it, when we're when mm -hmm. we're discussing overnight. Can you actually just break down the blood, sweat, and tears and years that went into this <laughs> so they can kind of catch up and know what we're talking about? Absolutely. So it all started back. It started with a dream I had when I was 19 years old. I just fell asleep listening to music, as I often do. That's where a lot of my ideas came from. And I had this dream, like one of those weird, like, you know, your brain's just starting to dump the DMT into your head kind of era of sleep, you know? <laughs> And I just got this flash of like this creepy kid walking along a hallway in a hotel and it was red. I just remember the walls were red and I couldn't really see his face. It's kind of blurry, but it was like very like the cover of life is peachy, you know, like that kid. It was like okay. that kind of vibe. I don't know. I just thought it would make a killer movie. Like I woke up and wrote that idea down, like just a movie based around this ghost kid. And then over the years, I'd get more ideas and more ideas. And I would try to write a script here and there, tried it as a play once or twice, you know, because I went to school for theater and I just always failed to love it. Like I never could get it right. Um, I kind of had an idea of like the vibe I wanted, but the story was always just really lacking. And what it was lacking was really any kind of emotional connection. So fast forward to like, I think it was 2019, 2020, um, Deja and I got back in touch pretty recently and we were starting to talk about the idea of putting a label together. And um, she was pitching me this idea of like, cause she was telling me about like movies that a lot of artists have done, like what Halsey did with her last album. You know, she made like a movie about it, showed it on HBO. Okay. And um, there was this like rising trend at the time we were looking at, she was like, have you ever considered doing something like that? Cause you have this background in film. And I told her, it's like, I had just started working on the overnight script again. And so that kind of like it evolved into the thing that we were talking about doing. And we wanted to start the label, I guess, like on the strength of a big compilation. But we thought instead of making it a random compilation, what if it was, you know, attached to a piece of media? And so obviously the story is really personal. You know, it's partially about us, um, things we've been through in our life. It touches on some pretty heavy topics that are near and dear to our hearts. And it's all fueled by great fucking music. So it's kind of the cultural like linchpin of Soul Lunar Records, really. It's like this is what we are. This is our branding right here, you know. Days, yeah. what what brought you back to to Caleb all those years back? Um, I mean, you know, I'm a big believer in fate, whatever that means to you know each person. But um, I truly believe that there are genuine people in our lives that um, are just meant to be there. And, um, you know, it took us over tw <laughs> literally decades. That sounds crazy, right? <laughs> but yeah, um, I still refuse to believe I've been alive that long. Decades <laughs> um, to, um, to come back together, you know? And uh, I definitely, I mean, shit, we were 17. We were 17, we're in our forties now. How wild is that, right? Like yeah. we were 17 when we first met and, you know, I mean, um, Caleb's one of my OGs. I mean, there's no one else, you know, that I uh, trust more, a confidant and best friend. And, uh, you know, I think we're just meant to be in each other's lives. And this is a testament to that. <laughs> that is cool. I love that. Yeah. What uh, any any new artist signings that you guys haven't informed us about or or anything that we need to know about project wise regarding uh, Love the Beloved or Annie here or anything like that? Yeah, so, um, well, uh, two big announcements we've made recently. One is we just signed Silhouette Death, 
who is one of the artists on the overnight soundtrack. Hell yeah. Uh, we've had a we've had a great working relationship with Dead for a while. He's helped us handle merch. Um, he's even just been a good confidant and given good advice. I mean, the motherfuckers even put me up when I've been on the road. You know what I mean? He's a solid dude. Um, he he he's been in this business for a while in the background, so he's got a lot of knowledge and we love his music. This shit's dope. So he's our newest artist, he's also working with the label as basically like a staff member, kind of helping us with the day to day. Um, so he's a, he's also a part of Soul in Our Records in that regard now too. And then um, the other big thing we're doing this month with Blood of the Beloved, as you mentioned, um, is they are running a merch special for Women's Month because March is National Women's Month. And so uh, we are working with them to sell some some pink uh, dystopia orphan world themed T-shirts. Um, and some package deals through our band camp and all of those proceeds for the month of March are going to go to equality. Now uh, we're not keeping any of it. Actually, once we cover costs, everything else goes to equality now. Okay. Chat chat wants to know what's the number one thing you guys look for in a band before looking into them further. Oh, Daisy, you want to take that one? Um, I think, you know, I think that's where we, typically have diverted from what people consider a typical um a typical label um i think typical labels look at social media numbers and i don't think that that is one thing that we have um looked at with our artists that we've currently signed now there's good and bad on that but um for me i think um i am looking for something that's different and that's different from all of our artists i can't say in a specific thing i just for me i just know like um i think we when we launched this label it was really to um bring forth you know we have our mainstream which i love i love main you know some of the mainstream artists that are out there right now in the metal and rock scenes but um I really, really um, believe that there's so many better artists, not better, but great, great artists out there that maybe don't fit into that mainstream mold. Mm -hmm. And uh, I look for a sound that um, just really doesn't sound like everyone else right now. Who's your favorite? Sound, who's so your favorite band or or top three favorite bands ever, Days? Just uh, mm. just the first three that come to mind out of curiosity. Nine Inch Nails, okay. um, for sure. That's been one of my longevity, I think, since I was about 13, 14 years old. Um, shit. If I'm thinking about, like, you know, one band more mainstream, I think they're getting traction right now, uh, that I actually just jumped on board with is Slaughter to Prevail. Like, I yeah. fucking love those guys. I love those guys. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say they're like, oh, all right, I'm just going to go with that. Um, uh, third, 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 third. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard. It's too, I'll it's say hard, two. It's hard. Have you seen the footage oh, where that, that Alex, like, pretty much every set now, he, he drops the mic and just screams with no mic? He makes yes. the, and then he hits himself in the yes. head like five times. He's an animal, <laughs> man. And, uh, you know, my son and I are going to go to Sick New World Festival in April. And I can't oh, wait to I'll see you there. I'll see you there. Yeah, are I'll you be there. To? Awesome. Awesome. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We'll be there. And uh, they're one of my top bands that I cannot fucking wait to uh, get down to. Caleb, are you yeah. going to that? No, nah, I can't make it, unfortunately. I really wish I could because there's like, I can't think of a single band on that bill I wouldn't just flip to fucking see like, there's so yeah, many I'll be there in spirit Dude, it's insane it's like, like it's, it's like, it's like a top tier warp tour like we're all over again kind of like but it's like all the best bands that would be at warp tour in one yeah. location it really is it's, it really is i haven't been to a festival in literally 20 years so um help god help me <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't even know how to prepare for it. I'm like, fuck it, let's go. We're doing it. <laughs> so, so overnight hits hits Vimeo soon. Uh, but what else can we expect from Solunar in 2024? Do you have any any? Uh, we plan on dropping an album for this artist around this time. Like anything else we can kind of look forward to jamming? God, everybody's busy. You know, we're all busy. Busy um, is good. We're all cooking. 
Yeah, we're all cooking stuff on our own. Like, I'm really looking forward to focusing on the Death of Zenith as an entity and a brand now because, like, pretty much all the music I've done as the Death of Zenith was for Overnight. And so it's not really, it's more indicative of the sound we needed for that movie than it is really for, like, where I think I'm going in the future, you know? So now that I don't have, like, you know, when you're writing for a movie, there's certain rules. You can't really get, you can't color too far outside the lines. But now I don't have a movie to write to. I'm like, oh, God, the limits are off. You know, sky's the limit. Um, I am working on some stuff, uh, some new stuff with the anti-hero. We're cooking up a, a few collaborations. Um, so he's awesome. going to have some new stuff coming. Yeah, Blood of the Beloved is, uh, they're still dropping collabs left and right. And they, I can't say too much about what we're working on, but Topher and I have been discussing something that's going to be probably the two acts together that's going to be insane. Did, did you guys ever reach out to Seath? about about joining Salunar because I feel like he would have been like a perfect fit for your guys roster yeah he really would and honestly like he gave me a shit ton of advice when we were starting up Salunar you know but at the time like he was still running brutal business and doing everything through that and I think he's got a pretty good working relationship through DI so like I let him know and like pretty much any artist on the soundtrack knows like hey y'all ever y'all any one of y'all are more than welcome at any time you know if they're part of overnight, they're part of the extended family. So that would definitely be someone we would work with, you know? Gotcha, for sure. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, do you guys want to do one one trivia question? You want to do some hot sauce trivia or no? I did. Why not? Bring oh, some you, what, what, did you, what did you bring? What did you bring? Okay, well, so I kind of have to wuss this out a little bit. As I get in my house, I don't do too much spice. This is my weakness. I don't eat. I mean, I'll take I it. That's cool. Just, I'm a like... Mexican who doesn't like spice. <laughs> Go figure. That's so whack. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to use the uh, diverticulitis, diverticulitis runs on my family excuse. Uh, but it is it's guacamole and habanero. You know, okay, the oh, I'll take gonna, it. It's going to... Yeah. So so here right. here's how it works. Uh, I, I believe I've done it before with Caleb, but I don't think I've done it with you, Days. Um, is there is there a movie or TV show that you guys could agree on? Or if I look up trivia on this movie or TV show, because you've seen it so many times, there's just no way I could stump you. Whether you get the trivia right or wrong, right or wrong, I'm gonna do hot sauce regardless. But my goal is to get you involved in that sauce with me. Okay. And I got I got some habanero. I got like twenty behind me. I just rotate them. I got <laughs> I got habanero XXX oh right here. Okay. Right. Dude, your esophagus okay. has got to be just like murdered after doing this show for so long. <laughs> it's, it's, it's built up. I feel so sorry for it's, your it's built wife. up a thick layer of tolerance. <laughs> but yeah, what what um, movie or TV show would could you guys do you guys think would work? What what um. I have a suggestion because it's one I know we both love and we've both seen it countless times. The Crow. Okay. The first we Crow. We could do The Crow. We could do The Crow. Just throwing like that in the head. Sure. Yeah, I feel like speaking of, speaking of The great. Crow, isn't, I think Bill Skarsgård is, is now The Crow. Yeah, he looks to be. <laughs> I think you pull it up. I like everything I've seen him in, so this would be pretty good. Yeah, I like him as an actor, yeah. but uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, it's hard. It's going to be hard to top the OG for me, and part of it is because of the soundtrack. You know, it's like, man, if you don't get the soundtrack right, and the the aura of of what happened on set is kind of adds. Yeah, I think, that's, I think that's what's most off putting, especially for us like fans of the original that have loved it for so long. I think that's probably. I think the. Uh, caveat everyone kind of hangs on to is like mm, maybe that should have been just kind of left alone yeah. out of respect but hey like you like you know i love bill scars card we'll see you know he's a great actor he yeah. really I, is. Uh, he's back I as pennywise again too for the it prequel yeah. also which is cool. that i'm looking forward to i love him as yeah. it he's all right let's great. let's let's go ahead and stump you here we go, go. all right in the crow oh, eric and shelly have a cat. What is the cat's name? Gabriel. Gabriel is correct! <laughs> Damn it! You know what? I'm gonna shoot it with you anyway. That a boy, okay. hell yeah. Alright, I'm not gonna shoot All right. I've got my prank. Good sports, good sports. I appreciate it. Cheers. Oh my god, y'all. Well, no. Oh my god. Woo! Woo! Ooh. Ooh, that one's hot. Oh, that's got a little more habanero than it's got guacamole. 
Oh, oh wild. I, two X's is not so bad, but the three X's. Whew, the three X's. Get <laughs> wow. Okay. That's the only freebie I can do for health reasons, though. But I'm <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll find one more one more here in in a second, but um, all right. I, 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 this is something I like to ask every guest we have on the show. And I don't think I asked you this last time, Caleb, but do you or or Daisy have to have any any uh, any phobia stuff that freaks you out? This occurs, you're running the other direction. Commitment. Mm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I gotta follow that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, see, I do, but I feel like the ones I want to say, everyone's afraid of, because I hate anything that flies and stings. I hate wasps, but it's like, who doesn't hate wasps, right? But I am crazy afraid of scorpions, actually. Like, stupid afraid of. Like, I don't even like looking at them through a cage. I don't. I don't. I don't care if it's in captivity. I don't want to see it. It's just. It's, it's like the. Like the people have the fear of the pores and stuff, but that that's you regarding scorpions. Yeah. You see it, and yeah. It's, instantly... it's just oh, yeah. which is weird because I'm a Scorpio, but yeah, no, I can't stand the sight. Okay. So, um, so here in Florida, you know, I'm based out of Florida, and uh, we have palmetto bugs. But I'm originally from Texas, so you know, we have you know we have critters out there but uh the palmetto bugs out here in florida are a whole other breed they fly they're like massive they you know they'll stare your ass down you know like kill me kill me and then when you go to kill them they're like bam they fly out of fucking nowhere yeah those are the those i'm from west palm beach so i know exactly what you're talking about yeah you know (laughs) that reminded me okay there's another bug. They don't sting, but they fly and they freak me the fuck out. What are they? Uh, cicadas, I think, is what they're called. Yeah, yeah. They're like that's huge. what we have in Texas. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the sound they make when they fly is like. It's a beast. It's the not. Beast. It's not of nature. It is not of God. <laughs> I don't know. Well, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try one more on the crow trivia. One more time. Okay. Right, let's go. Let's go. I don't know if this is easier or harder, but I scrolled way down to find this one. Okay. <laughs> this is a who said it in the movie who said it bingo he shoots he scores oh fuck oh fuck fuck um uh uh was it uh fun boy damn it that is correct (laughs) well done well done My Thank tongue you, is still burning the <laughs> You guys have seen the crow a couple of times, that's for sure. Uh, yeah. That is for yeah. sure. Is there is there we anything may be a little obsessed? This is this is kind of like a, a final final two questions I have for you guys. One, Caleb, how would you go about how did you and simultaneously how would you advise someone starting their director career? Hmm. So uh, my uh, train, like I, I did go to school, but I went to school for theater, not film. But I did take a film class here and there while I was in school. And I just kind of got into that, like, on the side, you know. Um, but I would still say, like, everything I know about, no matter, they're very different mediums that require very different styles of directing. But everything I know about directing, I still learned in school. So I'm a little bit OG that way, I guess. Like, I did actually get a formal education and this stuff. Um, I don't think you have to necessarily. I think you could do the exact same thing if you just started like volunteer directing at your local community theater. Eventually you will learn what you're doing. You know, um, I wasn't that brave. <laughs> I just went to school. <laughs> I bypassed all that, uh, the failing in public part. But um, I don't know, like I, I've always like, it's been, I've always dipped my toes in multiple things like that. And um, I've never been able to stick with one thing for very long, but it all kind of comes from the same place to me. Like if I'm making a song or a movie or directing a play, I, I think about it all the same way. So I think like, as long as you're like a creative person, kind of got a sense of world building a little bit and you have a story to tell, that's the most important thing. And that's what took overnight so damn long. Like you have to tell your story, you know, like you can't pussyfoot around it. 
you can't make something up if you haven't lived it. You really need to write what you know. And I, by the same token, even if you didn't write it, but you're just directing it, like direct what you know. Tell a story that you connect with on an emotional level, I think is the most important part of it. Hell yeah. Uh, is there anything that we did not touch base on today, guys, on the on the follow-up that you'd like us to know before we before we send you off? But Go um, watch the movie. Go watch yeah. the movie. You will love do, it. Do you have a date that it's hitting Vimeo? Yeah, April 1st. It will be on Vimeo April 1st. It will be available for rental or purchase. And um, you do have to sign. It's kind of like YouTube. To rent a movie on YouTube, you got to have an account. But it's free to open an account. And, um, yeah, it's uh, all the all the proceeds go directly to the label. Uh, once we cover costs, we're going to look at hopefully getting the actors some deferred payment. And uh, go buy the soundtracks off of Bandcamp because yeah. all of that money goes directly to the bands on the soundtrack. So, and that's yeah. live now. You can go get that. Yeah, it is. Great yeah. artists, a lot of great artists we had on that. So, is that really salunarrecords.bandcamp.com? Let me give you the exact link. Hang on just a second. Um, it is, I believe you are right. It is solunarrec, actually. REC, okay. Yeah. REC. Let me drop that in the chat right R now. R E C C, or wait, no, S O L U N A R R E C. Got it. Dot band <laughs> yeah. Smack. There we go. Thank you. Hell yeah. Yes. Well, well, Days, Caleb, I appreciate you guys spending some time with me, doing a little follow up catch up. Yeah. Congrats yeah, on on us. on the success and Thank overnight you. finally coming out. That's amazing. I know you've been working hard Thank on you. it. That is super cool. Sure. Uh, enjoy the rest of your night, and we'll do this again in a couple of months Thank and you. see what you got going on then. All right. Oh, yeah, awesome. Thanks, you. guys. Thank you. you guys enjoy awesome. the rest of your day. Thank you so much. Thank we you. appreciate it. Salute our records! Hell yeah. Yes! <laughs> Thank you, guys. I'll see you. <laughs> <laughs>